Hello again, welcome back. One from Amundsen Brewing Brewery in Oslo in Norway. And this one, maybe I should have checked before I took it out of the fridge to see what it was called. Oh, Hazy Day Hero. There's a Hazy Day Hero. It's a Hazy Session IPA. Um, the can art is fantastic. We'll have a wee look at the can after we pour it. That's cold, that's straight out of the fridge. Um, I've just used my two IPA glasses. I've got other ones, but in boxes. So I'm just using my, my Fjord glass, which is ideal because this is Norwegian and Fjords are in Norway. Serendipity. Wow. Pinky of... It's actually quite sudsy foam. It's not going to last, I don't think. Colour. It's 95% opaque. See the shadow of my hand through it. Very, very pale lemon straw. It looks delicious. It flowed... It looked fairly light-bodied, but let's get a wee few aromas and see what it smells like. It's quite dank. Citrus. There's a bit that smells like cabbages. <laughs> I know, when I was wee, People never really knew how to cook vegetables, not in Scotland. They'd boil them, boil cabbage for like four hours. When you're having your sprouts for Christmas dinner, they'd start boiling them in November. So, it smells, it's got that boiled cabbage smell. It's like a dankness, really, that's a, a plantiness. So the fruit is mainly citrus. It's definitely a gassy smell like cabbage. But it's still in date this, isn't it? Yeah. I think so. Best before end of March 2023. 15th of March 2023. This is April. So it is date. This is April the 19th. <coughs> So it's a month out of date. Should that matter? It might have lost some of its character, I don't know. It doesn't smell off or anything, it smells really nice. Anyway, let's see how it tastes. Cheers, my dear. It's nice. There's no... I don't know what the ABV in this is. I would imagine it's under 5%. If it's a session IPA, it's 4.2. Now, there's not a great deal of flavour. There's, there's, there's plenty of flavour there, but it's not like intense flavour. You know what is, I've just had a Northern Monk session IPA. 4.1% and it was absolutely bursting with flavour, like unusually high amount of flavour for a 4.1% beer. So I've had this, I'm having this now directly after that. And this is probably how you would expect a normal session IPA to taste like. That's thrown me a wee bit. Anyway, the flavour. It's a wee bit of fizz, not too much, but you are getting that, that dankness thing. There's a like a, it's, it's like reminiscent of a, like a sweet sherbet-y type vibe, but no, no intense as sherbet. And that sort of develops. Then you're getting a sort of a piney, maybe pithy bitterness. Getting a bit of grapefruit, 
maybe even lemon, it was citrus anyway. But it's fairly, pardon me, it's fair, pardon me, it's fairly subdued. Uh, it's very pleasant. But I was I was expecting more maybe I don't That's a terrible review. What does it say on the can? It's a four forty ml can, four point two percent ABV. Please drink responsibly. Uh, that's about it. Ingredients, water, malted barley, malted wheat, flaked oats. I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have said that. Hops and yeast. Well, we look on the website. See what it says. Uh, okay. That was from AmazonBrewery.co.uk. Uh, that's like the agent that sells the beers here. Hazy Day Hero, 4.2 Session IPA. Style IPA. Hazy Session IPA. Pale, hazy, straw and colour. Bright aromas of orange peel and assorted citrus dominate with floral undertones. Maybe that's the gassiness of the cabbage. It's the floral undertone. Light bodied, yeah, but round and smooth. Flavours of orange and grapefruit juice backed by sweet sherbet. There you go. That, that, I, I thought I was going mental maybe, but that's, yeah. A soft palate makes for an easy drinking session IP. 380 a can. It is easy drinking. It's a very pleasant drink. Uh, but don't expect to be overpowered by it. But if you're drinking a session IP, you're not expecting it to be overpowering. It's worth trying. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time, hopefully. Ta ta for now. Cheers, my dears. It is good.